we can start to mix the plaster and I will use about three tablespoons of water with about two tablespoons of plaster and two tablespoons of wood glue and I will put down the desired acrylic color and you can add more uh, wood glue or more plaster or acrylic color to get the viscosity you would like to have in the mix and here I put down the plaster mix and start uh, shaping it in the shape I want and make the interesting uh, surface surface and I add the darker plaster mix this is a more drippy so this is more uh, loose than the white plaster mix and you want to peel off the masking tape before the plaster gets hard then you will get in trouble if it's hard on you and after the plaster has cured i will put down another masking tape guidelines so i know where to put the next plaster so you will use a lot of masking tape on this project but masking tape is cheap so it's okay And here I remove the middle part of the masking tape so I know where to put the plaster and have a guides for it and don't get plaster everywhere. So when we have removed the masking tape we can start to mix the plaster and this plaster mix is the darker plaster mix that is uh, more liquid so we get the drip effect. And this darker plaster mix I made this time was a little uh, too firm. I should uh, have used more water or wooden glue in it. Now we need to remove the masking tape before the plaster cures. And we will put the painting up against the wall so the gravity can do its work. When the dark plaster has cured, we can start to add the white plaster and give it some interesting textures. Remember to remove the masking tape before the plastic cures. So this is how it looks right now. And when the plaster has cured, we put down another base coat over everything. So the plaster doesn't absorb all the colors, we will paint on it later. And when the base coat has dried, we can start to paint with the Montana Gold Chrome. I spray the Gold Chrome into a small jar and I use a brush to apply it on the painting. 